Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and we are live here in the Town Tech Educational Podcast Studio at Portland High School, and uh, with us in the studio, I'm your host, Dave Kuzminski, and with us in the studio uh, is our high school principal, Miss uh, Catherine Lawson, and we're just going to kind of do a post-wash of the, the graduation. Hi, Kate, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Dave. Are, are you, you more relaxed now that the, the big day is behind us? Absolutely, absolutely. So anyway, I think uh, uh, the overall consensus from, I think, students and parents is the uh, the, the drive-in graduation was a success. What uh, What's your take? Well, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I, I do think based on the feedback we've received and on the, the beautiful weather that we ultimately ended up having on Friday, mm-hmm. um, that it was a, a very successful graduation. Um, most importantly is that it felt very personal. Kids were yes. able to come up on stage. They were able to receive their diploma. Their parents were able to be right in front of them and uh, socially distance. I, I think the, the personal quality of it, the fact that families were able to, to see their students get their diplomas, that the kids were able to see one another get their diplomas, which was very, very important. Um, and the, the overall commitment of the community, uh, the Project Graduation parent team was there practically from sunrise helping decorate. Mm-hmm. Um, beautiful donations of flowers and, and a lot of uh, ingenuity Absolutely, about... Absolutely, yes. Uh, uh, securing things from the wind. Sure, yeah, that was a challenge. Um, but it, but it brought together, it brought together a beautiful program. It, it really was, and you couldn't ask for better weather. You couldn't have. Uh. And you needed to get through one rain delay, but then, uh, <laughs> then the sun came out, and nice metaphor for moving forward. Absolutely, absolutely. So I think, uh, from from the standpoint of the students, I think, and uh, talking to the few students that I interacted with, uh, and and so forth, they were very pleased, and as well as the parents. I think they got to see the kids, and the kids got to see the kids, and I, I think that's important. So anyway. It's and, all about community, Dave. It and, is. And we were able to to really feel that sense of community that's so necessary. Oh. It is one of the most important events in a community. Sure. To send off those seniors in high school. Sure, absolutely. And um, we owe a debt of gratitude a gratitude to Ms. Lawson. Oh, she did she a great job. She has done a phenomenal job under horrendous circumstances, and she still pulled off that community feeling, even though it was distanced. Sure, sure. And, you know, not, not, none the worse for wear, Kate. I, I don't see any gray hairs either. I got it. <laughs> oh, oh there, there were some words ex- exchanged at times, let me tell you. Expletives. <laughs> and we're lucky that the salons reopened on June 1st. <laughs> uh, and, and, and kudos to you, Philip, for uh, uh, announcing all those names and, and, and pronunciations. You, you did an awesome job. Well, again, uh, Ms. Lawson helped me with that prior to the, prior to the graduation. Uh, I, I always like being a part of these because they're so important to a community. So the opportunity to read the names, which I've never done before, yes, uh, yes. was was uh, uh, I really accepted that with sure. with with great thanks. Well, you know, I think from you know previous years, you know, we've deviated, you know. Quite a bit from the the usual program as far as that goes, with the not having the the, the band or the chorus there. But uh, you know, I think the the students did a good job with, with their uh, with their speeches. Um, yeah, and, really uh, phenomenal job. And and you know, every year I listen to these students speak, and I I think uh, how proud I am of their accomplishments and sure. their ability to convey a very important message. Yes, um, and so particularly our, our president, uh, Grant, who just spoke eloquently. He did. He, uh, he did it very well. Which was a wonderful, wonderful introduction to the to the event and really set the tone for the entire event. Well, sure. And I think, he, you know, he tied it all in from a standpoint of, you know, all these kids being together for 12, some 13 years, mm-hmm. uh, you know, coming up uh, through the ranks from kindergarten, you know, uh, on up to... Uh, you know, the secondary school system, uh, you know, I think he summed it up and it was, uh, like you say, very eloquently said. It really was. So anyway, uh, how you doing, Charles? Well, hello. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Was, no, I, one other thing I would just comment on, I was there sort of doing the parking lot, keeping on it, it, Everybody was so appropriate. And, and so it, it was just great. You know, there were no problems at all. We, we were nervous, you know, with that many cars. Oh, moving you didn't in know what to expect. And, but you know, it, was, it really was fabulous. Everybody was was spot on. 
Yeah, I know there was there was a couple rumors going around on Facebook that there, people were renting party buses yeah. and coming up with 25 people in a car, only one car per family. Well, I can fit 25 in my car <laughs> anyway. But no, it, it did come off well. I think the parking situation was, was done uh, very well. I think Eric did a great job on that uh, as far as that goes. And, uh, uh, you know, the teachers, uh, uh, you know, staging the students and getting the parents. And uh, I think that went went uh, um, very, very well, and it, it, it was smooth. I noted uh, 10 minutes before showtime, every single car and every single graduate was in place. Yeah. And that's no rehearsal. And yeah. again, that's the credit to Kate and her team that, that pulled this off. I mean, everybody was set and ready to go. For sure, for sure. And uh, with the graduates all set in the cars and uh, and so forth, so... Uh, um, I see what you got to look now. I don't know. Um, uh, you know, going forward, obviously we're still adjusting to the new normal and, and how that, uh, you know, transgresses the next year. And so forth. hopefully we will be bore back to, to a, a, a more normal, but you know, it's, it's going to be what it's going to be. And, you know, um, uh, you know, as the, all of the health, uh, experts say, you know, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're riding this virus. The virus isn't riding us, you know, and unfortunately we're on for the ride uh, to go from there. But uh, as that, you know, progresses through the summer and, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, we'll get back to normal. You know, Absolutely. As far as I... And I think what's important, um, one of the things that, that kind of goes on behind the scenes each year at the high school is allowing the senior class to have a voice in their graduation. Sure. Um, and it is always a primary goal of mine to have it completely student-led um, and designed. And we begin right after Christmas meeting with the senior class officers mm -hmm. to talk about how they wish to personalize their graduation. Mm -hmm. um, because I think each individual class likes to do that and likes to be known for, for who they are. Absolutely. Um, and they're certainly affected by the times and affected by the changes. Um, but I have every confidence that the class of 2021 will will do a beautiful job. Step it, right up to it. Absolutely. You know, it's just kind of, you kind of roll into the role and uh, they will, they're ready. Everybody can get there and uh, get her done as, as we speak. So anyway, it's, uh, it's amazing to me the, I, I guess the word is serendipity. Uh, the, the, the notion that this coronavirus led graduation, if you will, may lead to a completely, um, Change, a complete change in location. I heard a lot of people say, "Wow, we really like mm -hmm. this setting." Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. with the graduates up, up mm -hmm. above, with people down below. So you never know. Yeah, well, next that... year could could have a different location. Yeah, and yeah. and and a new traditions that began under extraordinary circumstances. Well, I've been doing graduations for probably thirty years now, and ironically, what goes around comes around because. When I first started doing the graduations, the graduations okay. were down in that field yeah. <laughs> before it was a parking lot. Uh, Is that right? Yeah. yeah. And people walked out of the back door and yep. down the hill and, yep. and, uh, and so forth. So, you know, what goes around comes around. Absolutely. So, yeah, it's to true. Go, to go from there. So uh, anyway, so what's on tap for next year, uh, uh, Charles? <laughs> 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 what isn't on tap? All right. Um, we, we don't know. I mean, I guess the, uh, to be completely frank, I... What's the date today? Today's the 17th? 16th. 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 As of June 16th, we don't know. Mm -hmm. a any any discussion about what we think school will look like eight weeks from now, it would be speculative at best. Um, we have a reopening committee. We're receiving regular guidance from our health officials and our, our state department. And a, a lot of the guidelines are starting to come into focus. But, mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't really feel like it would be appropriate to you know spend a lot of time guessing what the different models sure, might sure. look like. You know, when when we present the models, I want to present them as, as here's what we're doing, mm -hmm. um, and we're we're just absolutely not in a place where we're ready to do that yet. No. Um, uh, invite me back the first week of August, please. We, and we I, intend and I, to. And I think by the first week of August, that's kind of when um, you know we'll be ready to say here's what we're doing. No, yeah. really, really, and. Uh, the so, irony is that we're, we're getting two different messages. Mm -hmm. and, and one message is that the state of Connecticut is in a far better situation than they anticipated. And, mm -hmm. and it, it appears that they're lowering some of the restrictions right. earlier than we had anticipated. So that's a very good sign. 
but nationally, we're getting a message that uh, 19 states have shown an increase in the numbers of cases of coronavirus. Right. So it's a very mixed message, you know. How do you know what it's going to look like in yeah. two months? Exactly. And, and so to, to create a plan with any confidence is very difficult. I, I don't envy Charles's responsibilities this summer in, in trying to figure out how to do this. Yeah. So, so uh, officially, when do you pass the baton? It's passed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Uh, officially, July one. He's he's the new superintendent of schools. Okay. Up until June thirtieth, you know, most of the decisions that are affecting this current school year are, are are being made by me. But those decisions that are relative to the new school year, those are his decisions, sure. and I defer to him. Yeah. yeah, and I do want to talk a little bit about process because I think the the process is going to be as important as the outcome. So. Every Tuesday morning, I have a um, large committee of um, stakeholders, board members, town council representatives, Kate's on the committee. We have representatives from the Chatham Health District, students, um, a student, parents, that are meeting every Tuesday morning to discuss exactly what the guidelines are and, and how we can you know, make these things real in, in the fall. Um, I am going to post on the website the minutes, the agendas, and all of the documents that um, the committee takes a look at. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm committed to a level of transparency and communication through mm -hmm. this process. So um, before the end of this week, that, that will be up there. We'll make sure that people have links to it so they can take a look at it. But I, I, I want everybody to know, you know how we're making the decisions that we're going to make and then feel like they have input into them either mm -hmm. directly or through the people who are representing the various constituencies in, in the town. Great. Um, it's a very difficult process. You know, we, we spent an hour this morning taking a look at some of the guidelines and, you know, our, our heads were spinning. You know, we, there are so many considerations that are going into this that touch on teaching and learning and fiscal aspects of what we would need to do. And, I mean, we could go into the weeds for hours with this. All right. And we're going to have to. You know, we're going to have to make sense of, of all the things that are going to be in place. And, and you know, a, a key through this whole process and... and and that's why I would we I started with how well and smoothly graduation went because yeah. it was clearly communicated by Kate what the expectations were and people followed those. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to need in the fall. We're sure. going to need people mm -hmm. to understand exactly how to do things in a way that's safe. Yeah. You know? And um, people are going to need to be patient and, and flexible and um, uh, agreeable. You know? Sure. And one other thing I will say, and, and Philip can chime in on this too, is the sense of solidarity that we felt when this all happened was impressive. You know, people came together, right? Mm -hmm. Towards the end of it, maybe a little fraying. You know, people started to get a little tired in mm -hmm. certain respects. But I'm, I'm going to have to, you know, in encourage people keep that sense of solidarity and, mm -hmm. and stay patient, stay flexible, stay informed, and understand that, you know, the decisions we're going to make are, one, what science tells us we need to do sure. based on health and well-being of our students, faculty, and staff. Mm -hmm. The only thing I would add to that, and, and that's and it's something that I'm, I've encouraged the administrators to do this summer, is to sit back, give yourself some time to think about what worked and, and what didn't work, mm -hmm. and what we learned mm -hmm. from this this um, experiment, if you will. Sure. Um, and really, it and, was. And, and it, it was, mm -hmm. and it and, and as Charles indicated, it 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 worked well. We've had I I. I received more accolades about the administrative team and the teacher's work, mm -hmm. especially the teacher's work, um, than I ever have. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think people have recognized that. But at the same time, we've learned a lot as educators mm -hmm. about sure. kids and learning mm -hmm. uh, in a remote way. And I, I think there's some takeaways that we, ha we, we must remember. We must give ourselves some time to think about. Yeah. Yeah. And so that we don't make the same mistakes. And, well, and so that, that we carefully look at what should continue and what and what shouldn't continue. Absolutely. And as the situation, we all know, is fluid. And, uh, you know, depending on what comes down from, you know, the commissioner's office, the governor's office and so forth. And it works both on, you know, the education side and the, the town government side because the uh, we on the government side are kind of in the same boat, you know, uh, as, the, as the situation evolves. Uh, um, you know, we have to adapt as well, you know, and that's, that's important. And I think, uh, as you say, Charles, I think everybody came together and I think, uh, um, not only do the, the, the staff realize that, but also our citizens and parents, okay, 
also realize that. And, um, you know, I think they've been very understanding. And uh, from that standpoint, um, it, 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 it made a much, co- much more cohesive process, you know, from that standpoint, sure. Anyway, um, great. Um, and then, Kate, again, kudos to you, Thank you and your whole administrative team. And, and, and again, um, Charles, good luck uh, you. G- coming down. Uh, you're coming out of the gate strong, feet on the ground running. And uh, Philip, uh, again, thank you for all of the hard work and uh, good things that you have done uh, for the Portland School District in this, your tenure. This is a wonderful town. It, it, it is. It has been my pleasure and it's to been... be the superintendent of schools for six years. I, I, I came here, as I mentioned, on Friday night at the graduation. It, it was my you know, final project, if you will, yep. uh, as, a, as an educator. And it, it, I've learned a lot. Mm-hmm. I learned a lot here. Sure. And, and one of the things I've learned uh, a lot about is, is being part of a team and how wonderful it's been for me to be part of such a great administrative team. Sure. That's great. That's so, great. You know, I'm moving on now to, to uh, chickens. Uh, Dogs. I received, I received uh, a couple of dozen of baby chicks in the mail from Iowa last week. There you go. So, and then breeding my dog, Shay, and, <laughs> and then doing some part-time work, but, but really giving some time for family and friends and uh, fun. Kicking back. You know, I'll, uh, when, next time I need eggs, I'll give you a call. Please do. We'll have plenty of them come October. <laughs> as far as that goes. And, and Kate, we got my uh, town tech guys there uh, right now doing all of the processing of all the pictures that we took on uh, uh, on, on Friday night. So we're going to get those up in a nice collage uh, as far as that goes on the website uh, for parents and students to enjoy. And we got a lot of candid shots and uh, uh, it really made the, the, the night a memorable location. So it will be wonderful to have. Thank you. Awesome. So again, thank you so much. And you, uh, that concludes our, our podcast for the Portland School District. And uh, uh, Kate and Charles are, are going to be doing more in the fall as we start to go summer. through the summer as uh, to go from there. So stay tuned. And uh, again, all our podcasts uh, are on uh, our town website and they're going to be on the school website and wherever you listen to your own podcast. So uh, from all of us here at the Town Tech Educational Partnership uh, Podcast Studio, I'm your host, Dave Kuzminski, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.